Hey guys, welcome to TechTube. Today we will see how we can interface Arduino with ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and how to send the data on ThinkSpeak Cloud. So let's see the pin diagram of ESP8266. As you can see, we have the pin diagram like this. We got TX ground CHT pin, two GPIO pins, one reset, one VCC and one RX. Now, first thing first, when you buy any ESP8266 module from any hardware shop or from Amazon, the first thing you should do is to check that ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is working or not. And to see that, we have to make this connection. We have to connect VCC to 3.3 volt, EN pin to 3.3 volt. We have to connect ground to ground. TX to TX and RX to RX. Remember guys, we are only checking that the ESP8266 is working or not. For that, we have to make this connection. Now, GPIO0 and GPIO1 pin and the RST pin are not connected. Now, we'll see the hardware. How can you do that? As you can see, this is ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and I've connected this with the Arduino. I've connected TX to TX and RX to RX pin and I have given 3.3 volt from Arduino Uno. Now I will plug the USB to my laptop. Now I plug the USB and as you can see the red light means it's turned on. Now remember one important thing, sometimes you will see a very fade light. That's because either we are not getting a 3.3 volt, proper 3.34 voltage for ESP8266. You can use a 3.3 volt voltage regulator or a voltage divider for this. Now we'll see the result on the serial monitor. You can use this 3.3 volt voltage regulator or you, you can use this voltage divider circuit now we'll go to our arduino ide first thing first go to tools and check the board and select the correct com port you have to select arduino uno board and your correct port now go to file go to preferences and paste this link over here <clears throat> you can find the link in the description box now we just have to click on file go to new and after clicking on new you'll see a new sketch now we just have to upload the sketch over to the arduino now we can see the result on the serial monitor we have to paste this or we have to check these at commands now after writing at we got ok response that means we have successfully connected ESP8266 with Arduino. Now we'll reset the ESP8266. Now to get the version of the ESP8266 use this command. As you can see we got the AT and SDK version. Now we have to see the nearby Wi-Fi. We can use this command. As you can see these three nearby Wi-Fi are available. Now we have to connect to the our Wi-Fi. Now you have to use this command. Replace Amit with your Wi-Fi name and password with your Wi-Fi password. Now click on enter. As you can see, we got the Wi-Fi connected and we can see the same result on the serial monitor. Now we have to send this data on things big cloud we'll be using lm35 temperature sensor but first we have to create one new channel go to your thingspeak.com and log in to your account and create on new channel now we have to give a name to our channel now i will give esp8266 and temp now as we are only using one sensor that is LM35, we have to select only one field. Now I'll give this field name as temp. Now we just have to save the channel. 
Now, to see the channel is working fine or not, we have to go to API keys. Now, select this right channel feed or the link and paste it in your browser. As you can see, we got a response one. Now, to see the result, go to your private view. And as you can see, we got the result here zero. That's because I have given the result here zero. Now, if I change this value to any value, suppose 52, we got the response two, and we can see the same result on the things peak. Or an, now, we'll send our LM35 temperature sensor data on this channel. So, so to send data on ThingsPeak Cloud using LM35 temperature sensor and ESP, we have to use the circuit. Now, remember one more thing that the zero and one pin of Arduino is connected to the TX and RX pin of the ESP8266. But I will not recommend you to connect to this circuit. You have to use two or three or any other pin except zero and one because as you know zero and one is the hardware serial pins sometimes you will get the result on the serial monitor or even on things peak but most of the time you will get an error because this is the hardware serial pin of arduino uno so i will recommend you to use two or three or any other pin except zero and one now we'll see the connection on hardware now, as you can see, I have connected LN35 temperature sensor with Arduino and the data pin is on A0. I have given 5 volt and ground to LN35 temperature sensor. Now, I will plug the USB to my laptop to check the result. First, go to your API key and select the right API key, not the read API key. Now, after selecting this, copy this API key go to your code and paste the api key over here now we'll upload this on arduino uno board we can see the result on the serial monitor It says out of loop. That's because we have connected the wrong pin. Now interchange the pin to see the result. Now, as you can see, we are getting response on the serial monitor. Now give it 10 to 15 seconds to reset the ESP8266 module and will send the data on the ThingsPeak cloud. It will take two to three loops to get connected and then it will send data on ThingsPeak cloud. Now it's as you can see, it's showing connected and it has successfully sent the data on the ThingsPeak cloud. We can see the result on the private view. As you can see, we got the result temperature 34.18 and the time as you can see and the date, it says 6.35 and, and June 3rd. Now we can see or confirm the result by checking the time right now as you can see it's it's 6 35 and 3rd june this is how you send data using arduino and esp8266 on thingspeak cloud let me know if you want any help from this project